And I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Pink felt like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I pull in a can. Like, Jazzy, stay Me when I get back. I'm in LA, Bumpdale Drive. I'm in New York, Madison Ave. I'm a Barbie girl, Pink Barbie Dreamhouse. Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Ashika Lee. If you're new here, if you're not, welcome back. If you guys are up to date with my vlogs and my videos and stuff, y'all saw in the last video, I told you guys that I am doing Gel X. So I started um, doing Gel X probably two weeks ago. So this is going to be my second set, but it's springtime. So I want to try out a design and I have an idea. Let me show you guys what I'm going to do today, tonight, because it's late. It's 1030. Um, I have church in the morning, so I figured, well, girl, come on, let's do your nails. So I wanted to try something like this. Isn't that so cute? Like, it's just so springy. So I wanted to try something like that. However, I do not have the blooming gel paint that I need to get it like that. So I can't do that. So I kind of wanted to do something very colorful. Thinking about doing something like this. These are really cute. These are just pretty much colorful flowers on the nail. And yeah, I'm thinking about doing something like that. These look really easy. And once again... I am just going to be trying stuff. I'm doing my own nails at home. Why not? You know, so I just soaked off the right, my right hand and my nails are looking okay. They're not looking too bad. So now I'm about to soak off this hand. This is like the longest part. So in this water, I just have water, Dawn dish soap and olive oil. And I let my hands sit in here for about 10 minutes. And then I just kind of peel them off and they come off. So for those of you that don't know well let me put my hand in this while i'm talking to y'all so for those of you that don't know what gel x is it's pretty much to me like press-ons but a really sturdy press-on um i've had these nails on for two weeks now yeah i had these nails on for about two weeks now so and they're still on i only had two of them come off and that's about it they just came off probably two days ago so they last a really long time and I, I i mean i like them i like to switch my nails up so i think this is a perfect alternative to acrylic because i like to change shape and stuff i got um different shapes i got square nails and i also got um these coffin i'm not really a coffin girl and i also got almond so as y'all can see, we also got a lot of color um, to try out and stuff. Everything ordered on Amazon, y'all. Literally everything. So we're going to play around in some colors, some, some, you know, some designs. I'm still not sure if I want to do almond nails or square. I'm an almond girly. Y'all know I'm an almond girly now. However, I do like the square nails. I just feel like lengthwise, I don't know question is do I want to switch it up I don't know but y'all I'm actually so tired it's 10 30 and I had such a long work week and day obviously because it's Easter weekend and um the Nicki Minaj concert in Philly is tonight uh what else a lot of people have weddings there was a lot of birthdays this week so my week with clients was very stressful right now this is my therapy me soaking my nails and watching Kyra on YouTube like this is it here we are <laughs> but yeah I had a really long week so I've I've been looking forward to coming home and doing my nails of course so I can't wait to see how the set turns out so I'll come back once this hand is completely um soaked off okay <laughs> so this is gonna take a little while so and then I'll update you guys on the time that I start versus the time that I finish. And I also ordered a cart from Amazon that I'm going to put together. I don't know if I'm going to put that together tonight, but it's going to hold all of my nail stuff just so that it's easier and more organized because I, I have like nail stuff now. So we need somewhere to put it. So, um, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go soak my, well, I'm going to soak my nails off, wash my girl, and then I'll come back when it's time to actually get started on the set. 
All right, y'all. So it is 11.07 and I had to change my clothes because of course, clumsy me cannot do anything without making a mess. The bucket, well, the container that I was um, soaking my fingers in, just I just made it tip over and it got everywhere. So I had to change my clothes and but this thumb will not come off y'all. I got half of it off and the rest of it just won't come off. I don't know what to do. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Ugh, y'all, I got it off. Oh my gosh, I got it off. Our nails are free. Our nails are free and right now I am just taking care of our cuticles. So let's go ahead and start doing our nails. For me, apologies for the wait. Sometimes it's hard to get the distractions up off you. For enough time to jot your thoughts, but fuck it, this morning I got to. I'm thinking about you. I heard you just had your another little baby. Congratulations. I hope you got through it with no complications. I find it amazing the way that you juggle your kids, the biz, the fame, the pictures that's hating. They sit around waiting for you to fall off like the album I'm making. But I hope that you take in a little time for yourself. Still in a moment or two to unwind between the hectic sounds of your precious baby crying. Do you hear your mind? Be a lot going on. I hear it in all of your songs. Niggas been doing you wrong. Barely been doing you wrong. On days you feeling like you on your own. I wrote this for you to put on. Thank you for sharing your light, your voice, and writing a beautiful poem. Session 32, bring me to tears. Be getting choked up when I hear it. Seems like I keep crying off so much since a nigga had these kids. And I don't know what it is that made me so sensitive. More than I already was. But never mind that, I'm back. I'm sending you this little audio hug. And hopes that you smile for getting the stress that piles from all the above The more that we hurt, the harder we love As soon as it's gone, we gotta re-up It's just like a drug If people knew half of the pressure They know that it's hard to be her I'm sending you Suzanne, Ari, my love Y'all holding us down, y'all holding the crowns You ever need something from me, don't hesitate, please Just hit me and I'll be around, I'm gone All right, y'all, I cannot believe I'm just now finishing. It is 2.30 a.m. Yeah, I have to get up for church in the morning. But um, the nails are done. I am loving them. I am obsessed with them. It's been forever since I've had, like, um, long square. So I have to get used to the shape for sure. But y'all know I'm an almond girly through and through. So I'm trying out a new shape, but I can't wait until my next set. I feel like I did such a good job. I was so nervous with the design of everything, but I really, really, really feel like I did a great job. The only color I was missing is yellow, and I feel like I'm going to order like a yellow um, nail polish and probably add a yellow flower on here as well because I feel like the yellow would just make it pop. Um, but other than that, I love it. I'm obsessed. I'm so proud of myself for doing it. I'm proud of myself for having it look this good. Like, impressed. Impressed. I hope I impressed y'all. If I, if I did a good job, then leave this emoji down in the comment section below. Let me know what y'all think about the nails, what y'all think about Gel X. If you've done Gel X before, then leave a comment down below. Let me know about your experience because, yeah, I'm here for it. I can't wait till my next set. I'm doing almond with the next set, and we're going to do another design. So stay tuned for that. But right now, I am about to go to bed. I'm about to take these clippings out as well um, because I'm going to do a ponytail in the morning um, with the same hair, but I just need it out. For now i need my scalp to breathe okay it's just been a lot of tension on my hair 
So we're gonna go to bed because we have to wake up early. Not early, but early. And go to church. We gotta get right with the Lord. Cause it's been so much stuff happening in the media. In like life. The new, like everything is just. See how I just keep talking with my hands? I can't help it. I mean, I always talk with my hands, but when the nails are done, it hit different. Okay, it just hit different. So anyways, y'all, I will see you guys tomorrow when we're getting ready for church. Oh my God, I look so tired. Ugh. I'm exhausted. It's 2.30. It's bedtime. Hey y'all, so just made it back home from church. I was rushing so bad this morning. I wanted to show y'all what I was wearing, but I guess I'll just show y'all now. But um, church was really good. Um, y'all know I'm a Seventh-day Adventist, so we go to church on Saturdays. So we had our Easter program today, and it was so good. We got um, Byron Cage to come to our church and sing and perform. Y'all know Mr. Byron Cage. Y'all know him. Let me see. Y'all know Mr. Byron Cage. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The famous. We always get people. Who else did we just have? We just had, um, a, I'm going to mess her name up. He is 60 now, and he still looks very good, and his vocals are amazing still. But I'm going to play one of his, like, most um, famous songs. Y'all know Mr. Byron Cage, yeah. So we had him come and sing and perform. Um, I'll insert some clips like here so that y'all can see. It was really good. We had such a great service. Our church is definitely known for our praise and worship. We're known for our music, our voice, our capability to minister through music. That's what we're known for, and we did exactly that today. So the praise team um, was singing with Byron Cage on stage. It was such a good, 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 good experience, y'all. Um, we also had some musicians come. We had uh, we had them play a few songs from the hymn, and then uh, there was a soloist that played a song that we actually mimed two years ago. Fun fact. Me and my sister and me and my sister actually used to praise dance at church. We well, we don't call it praise dancing. We call it miming. So we used to mime, and he actually played one of the old songs that we used to mime to way back when. And when, once we heard it, um, we had looked over to see if they was doing the dances, if they were doing the dance to the song, and he was dancing all at the same time. It was just so good. It was so like. It was so refreshing to just feel so connected. And also, I'm not going to lie, um, in churches, I feel like everyone is just used to being so uptight and just like, okay, let me just sit here and hear the word and go home. But today, it just felt like a release. Like everyone was excited when he was singing and praising. No one was scared to just get up and praise him. It, it just felt like everyone was just coming together. Like everyone was just free-spirited and just enjoying the moment and actually congregating with one another like we were worshiping together so it really 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 felt good the message was amazing um you know pretty much saying that jesus is he's him he's above all our healer he's our protector he's our guider he's our counselor he is the light in the darkness he is literally everything and all that we can imagine and all we literally have to do is just remember who he is sometimes it gets hard to like be focused on um him when our situations and our circumstances are constantly changing but if we just remember who god is like if we really sit here and think it's literally all powerful why should i stress over things that i cannot control when there is a god that is bigger than all of this there is a god that is bigger than all of this all of your concerns all of your worries all of your you know i don't know what you're going through i don't know what you're going through at the other end of the screen but let me tell you whether you need healing from your 
body, healing from sickness, healing from depression, healing from anxiety, healing from constantly just feeling like you won't win, healing from negativity, healing from worrying, healing from your finances, healing from your career, healing from your relationship, healing from your marriage, healing from literally anything. If you need healing from anything, remember that there is a God who knows your name. Remember that there is a God who knew who you were before you got here. There is a God that will take you out of whatever situation you're in and put you somewhere better. You may not understand why things are the way they are right now, and that's okay. It may not be for us to understand. The only thing that we need to do in this moment of uncertainty and of, of wonder and, and anxious behavior is to keep our eyes forward and just focus on God. God is so good, y'all. Today was such a good word. Today was such a good word. Now, my head is actually killing me from this ponytail. I'm not going to lie to you. I have to rearrange the clips. I didn't think that I put them in um tight, but I guess just like the initial hairstyle. I had to take some out and just rearrange and reposition them but right now i am about to drink myself some tea because yeah it is raining outside is it well it was it was drizzling a little bit um and yeah i felt a little like you know when you about to get sick or something so i made myself some tea this is actually my ginger tea but this is a probiotic at the same time i just have a really big headache i went to sleep at three o'clock in the morning i'm tired i don't know i'm going to take my makeup off and lay down because my head is killing me um i did want to do my feet today so i think when i get back up i'm going to repaint my toes i'm gonna do white on my toes or maybe i'll do a french tip kind of just play around and see um what I feel like doing. But my mom and my sister saw my nails today. And they were like, girl, when you gonna do ours? Come on, come save us some money. I'm still, like, shocked. I cannot believe I did this set on my hands. Like, this is actually insane. I do, however, need to order, like, the little soak-off thing. So that it can be easier to soak off. Because I'm not gonna lie. I was so impatient yesterday that I just started ripping. The, like, I, I was biting them off. Okay. Um... Nail. No, I probably would not do nails at all. Honestly, I'll do them for myself, for my sister and my mama. I do hair. That's enough dealing with people. I don't know how I would manage dealing with people when it comes to nails. Okay. I'm going to stay in my lane. This is so good, y'all. I'm just going to get in bed. I'm, I'm going to take my makeup off and just lay down. If I fall asleep, I fall asleep. I don't want to take a nap because it's 4 o'clock, but if my body tells me to go to sleep, I'm going to go to sleep. I'm tired. Oh, I didn't even show y'all what I wore today. This is what I wore today. I got this sweater cardigan from Target that I showed y'all in the last vlog. I ended up wearing it today because it's like super colorful, festive. I got this white shirt on from H&M, I think, and the skirt is from Marshalls and yeah it's just like a really cute fit and bag is from timu and it just pairs very well and i just wore some clear heels with this but this is the outfit <laughs> we're cute i know i know i know anyways i will see y'all later i'm tired i'm tired i really feel cute with the ponytail Ugh, so cute so cute but i gotta take these clips out now, okay. Oh, let me drink my tea and go to bed, baby. Y'all, we just made it back from the spot. We cooking because we home. Late night snack. But it's still healthy. It's still healthy. We're trying. We're trying. I'm always laughing, I'm gonna
fuss. He can't put on that drip, he ain't one of us. How you run in the beers and a talk with drugs? How you got everybody here piping up? Oh, she bad with no swag, I don't type her up. They my lips and my lips, I don't wipe her up. Count the money up, fat like I'm typing. Your name? Hey! <laughs> there we go. Good morning. It is the next day. Because I'm vlogging. Um, we're getting our makeup together. Y'all hear the music? Well, let me pause the music. Because your girl will get copyrighted on YouTube. So this is my camera right here. Ooh, answer. However, I'm a Christian, so I don't go off of zodiac signs. I go off of just who people are, you know? Everybody is different and also everyone has similar personalities. So it'd be crazy to just assume based off of when your mom and daddy, well, when your mama and your daddy decided to lay down together and make you. Zodiac signs does not matter to me. It's all about who you are as a person. Anyways, y'all look. Good morning, y'all. So it is the next day. As y'all can see, we went out last night. We had a great time. It is the next morning. I'm just doing a little bit of something to my face to make myself look a little bit more alive but i am loving the ponytail i'm loving the ponytail absolutely um i'm on tiktok live as well so I'm about to just get myself together um i was supposed to go out with my girlfriend today birthday passed and i just want to take her out but i'm not sure if it's gonna happen today or tomorrow most likely tomorrow oh it is easter easter today What's up? It is the next day. As y'all can see, this morning um, I had an appointment for something. Um, I don't know if I really want to get into all of that right now or let y'all in um, with what type of appointment it was because I may or may not do it. It was just like a consult. So we'll see how I feel about it. It was real. It was raining today. It was very gloomy. But it was very gloomy. Um, we're at the gas station right now getting some gas. But yeah, right now I don't know what we're going to end up doing. Honestly, it's super gloomy. I am starving. I am really hungry though. Um, I wanted to get some crumble cookies, but they don't have the flavors that I was interested in trying so that's probably a no and we are close to the mall but someone doesn't want to go to the mall <laughs> and I really wanted some sushi you don't want no sushi <laughs> I have no reason to be at the mall anyway um, because I don't need to buy anything at all um, but yeah like I said so I had an appointment this morning um, it was a console and it actually went really good. It's a really small office. It was so beautiful in there I had to let them know like whoever Designed whoever the interior designer is of this building Chef's kiss like it was so beautiful and it's really intimate. So it made me feel very comfortable um, It's just a matter of if I'm going to do it or not now I'm not too sure ah! I'm not too sure 
um, if I am gonna do it or not. We'll see. It's just, I just have to figure some things out and see if this is something that I really do wanna do. Um, again, I'm not gonna discuss too much because I don't know if I'm comfortable to do that. I'm gonna see what happens. But we're gonna head home. I'll catch it. <laughs> So yeah, so. nothing crazy happening on this fine Monday. Oh, and I have to share some exciting news with y'all. <laughs> but we can talk about that a little bit later as well. Anyways, I will see y'all when I get home. And I did a little bit of makeup. I literally just have on blush, contour, lip liner, and lip gloss, just because I wanted to make myself feel a little bit more put together um despite the weather outside so yeah she's cute and the ponytail is giving i love the ponytail love it <laughs> what's up my man good let me get a chicken over rice no no salad hot sauce white sauce Y'all find the young black people working stand out the street? Say it again. I say, excuse me, young melanated people, are y'all fond of young black people working and stand out of the street? Sure. Okay, today, can you sign my Could I get, um, fish and chicken salad? We're in South Philadelphia down in Center City. All I need you to do is sign the two second petition. They're going to call you tonight. Ask out the little bit on the survey. I need you to say I did super color fresh. That's the other bullshit. No rice? No rice. Yes. Okay. You say all the whole I know. Uh, because the fish and the whole are Okay. This uh, food can keep in the steam of no Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. 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 Okay. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> I'll do a ginger ale. Oh. You get a straw? No, I ain't get one. Can we no. get one? He is so sweet. I love going to him. That's how I'm spending money with him. Yeah, he's really sweet. Y'all, right, so just made it back home. Um, I'm re-watching Insecure. Y'all Insecure? Rewatching Insecure in my adult age, I feel like it's so toxic. It is. However, love the show down. Um, so as y'all can see, we went to, wait, hold on. As y'all can see, went to my um, consultation and then ended up going to Fresh Grocer. I just got some ingredients because as y'all can see, I got some wings thawing out over there. I'm about to put them in the sink, but I need to wash these dishes first. Um, so I'm making some wings tonight and I got some sweet potato fries and y'all also just saw that we ended up, baby, can you pause the TV real quick? And then we stopped at our favorite quick, easy, cheap food place to go to and that's the uh, halal truck. We love halal food. It was so good. I got the fish and chicken over salad and Dre ended up getting the chicken over rice. It was really good. Just finished that. And I'm about to, like I said, just wash these dishes and um, watch Insecure. And then we also got some brownie mix that we're probably going to end up making tonight. Um, Dre works with his hands. And y'all know I work with my hands as well. So we're going to be one carpal tunnel-y couple. <laughs> <laughs> carpal tunnel is carpal tunneling, Okay. My hands lock up because I've been doing hair for so long. His hands are starting to lock up because he's constantly working with his hands. So, it's given, it's given old couple suffers from hand arthritis issues. <laughs> God forbid, we ain't even gonna put that on us. But right now the hands are aching. Um, so, I'm gonna give him a manicure because... 
I have all the things to do exactly that. And I'm going to try to talk him into getting Claire polished over his, <laughs> over his neck. He's like, no, but I really want to do it. So I think I'm going to do that. Like I said, it is super gloomy. Uh, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. Gloomy it is outside. Like, hello, hello. It is so gloomy. So, it's going to be like this. Um, pretty much for the rest of the week. So yeah, we don't really have much planned for this week. But I also wanted to talk to you about something. So my client that I had for Friday, one of my clients, she's also like into the influencing, but she's a she's a clothing she's a clothing influencer. Um, and we actually went to school together and. Yeah, so we were just talking. We were pretty much just connecting on like the highs and the lows of influencing and things like that. And she was just letting me know like she does watch my vlogs and stuff. So I appreciate her. Shout out Cameron. Um, she was just telling me, you know, sometimes it's a it's a breath of fresh air to see vloggers that are relatable. Because let's be honest, we all love to watch, you know, the people who vlog and their lives are so and like they're going shopping every day. They're buying designer every day or every week or whatever. They're going out every day. We, it's like inspirational to see, you know, where they are and where you could possibly be at as well. Um, she was pretty much just telling me, you know, like, because I was telling her, you know, sometimes it's just hard to vlog sometimes because I do weekly vlogs. Now, there are days where I can do maybe like a date in my life or whatever, like a weekend vlog. However, my main content is definitely weekly vlogs um which has changed from what i have been posting when i first started youtube granted i was trying to find my niche back then so right now um i'm pretty much like stuck into lifestyle weekly vlogs but i really 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 do enjoy it i i think the hard part about this is after my weekly vlogs right i don't really get a break because once i end a vlog i'll start the next weekly vlog the next day and every week is not super eventful and I feel like based off of the people that I watch on YouTube I feel like I have to be super interesting I have to be super busy I have to have different things to show you guys to be interesting enough to watch if that makes sense so sometimes on like my boring days my the days where I do absolutely nothing I feel like well what am I going to show y'all so that brings me to say this. I really want to know what y'all would want to see from me. Y'all know I am big on makeup. If you didn't know, now you know. I started off my YouTube pretty much focused around beauty, makeup, um, and things like that. So I would definitely love to do a, you know, updated makeup routine and also make it into like a girl chat type of thing where you guys will ask me questions and I will answer it or I could give you guys advice or, um whatever but i really would want to get back into incorporating makeup on my youtube channel i just need to know what y'all want to see so i need y'all to comment down below i need the engagement to be up there i love my community i love those that watch me so i need you guys to engage with my content so that i can know that i'm on the right path because if i'm showing y'all things that y'all don't want to see then that's not benefiting me and obviously you're not going to want to watch or be a part of you know my community on youtube and i really do want an engaging community i want i want to hear from y'all i want to speak to y'all in the comments so i say all of that to say i need you guys to let me know what y'all want to see from me period okay if i'm doing something in a video and y'all can relate i need y'all to comment we need to talk we need to chat it up in the comment section um so yeah that's pretty much where i'm at and it is kind of frustrating sometimes to post and then not see the engagement that i wanted to see when i first moved you know my engagement was very high everyone loves moving vlogs but that's not the case every upload you know i'm moved in like this is my home now so um it's not really much of mo much of any moving content that i can really show y'all like i'm here so now that i'm here what more would y'all like to see from me i don't want the engagement to go down 
I don't want the conversations to stop. I want you guys to be involved and a part of my growth on YouTube. So that was a little rant, but it's how I feel and I'm happy that I finally said it in a blog. Right now, we're gonna clean the kitchen area and just pick up what needs to be picked up. They are still bloomed. One definitely died, but I'm about to just change the water out and yeah. wearing my skim set that y'all saw in the last video it actually feels really 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 good um it's ribbed and it's really stretchy and i like the print on this so um, i'm about to set up my bar cart not a bar cart but a cart this is where all of my nail stuff is gonna go i wanted to get like a colored one but i just ended up getting white and this is gonna go in the other rooms, but I'm gonna set it up out here and then um, bring it in the other room. But this one is a rolling utility cart, so it has wheels on the bottom. So this is gonna be very easy to like move and things like that. Um, I just wanted to organize my nail stuff a little bit better. So I ended up getting a cart. It actually delivered the same day I ordered it from Amazon, which is crazy. Yeah, this is gonna be so Super easy to put together. Literally. Attach the heels first. The wheels. I was trying to put the um the cart together, but we ended up leaving midway um to run some errands and then we came back. So right now I am getting the chicken together. I'm gonna be making buffalo chicken tonight. Why are you asking? What's wrong with you? Chicken is in the oven, as y'all just seen. I am about to put these dishes away. <laughs> this being so weird today. I don't know what's his problem. What's your whole thing? He's so weird. Um, what's your whole thing? While he's doing that, I'm going to put the dishes out oh, here. Yeah. I wish I had a time machine. I wish I had a time machine. I wish I had a time machine. I'm in a water. Oh, Oh well. <laughs> Dre, you still say you're still another video. Oh, she go. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy used to do that all the time. She used to be like, <laughs> it's a um, it's a Caribbean thing. Caribbean beauty. The one, but when said the one, but the one I am put you pan duty. Hey, I said Jamaican how to say certificate. Surf a ticket. What? Surf a ticket. Surf a ticket. You either say surf a ticket or surf ticket. You get two of them, but. Surf a ticket. Surf it. That's. Mom said surf a ticket. How was it? 
Certificate. What did we just say? Certificate. <laughs> no, mommy said certificate. Certificate. Oh, certificate. Yes, Ashika. Yes, certificate. C E R T. Cert. Um. Tiff. So, I'm gonna come from fine. I'm gonna do a whole vlog speaking in Patois. <laughs> We're gonna go to Jamaica this year, and it's gonna be so fun. It's gonna be such a good time. I literally cannot wait until we touch down in our Kingston. No, we're not going to Kingston, even though that's where I'm from. Kingston, Jamaica. Um, I'm gonna come from Tivoli Garden. The bad place. But it's alright. We live in a good place now. He over there talking about some. You're hype, and you're mad. You're American. Now I'm what? Not. You're mad. I'm you're American. Not. You're mad. Shots by every mama drop. Y'all, so I had a client today, but she ended up rescheduling. Um, she said something came up. So I'm going to use the opportunity today. It's raining today really hard. So today is a gloomy day. And by the time she texted that she needed to reschedule, I was already on the way here. So yeah um i am about to do my hair so i'm about to take these clippings out my sister is about to wash my hair for me um i'm gonna end up doing knotless boho braids on myself they're gonna be really big parts don't ask me why i decided to torture myself to do braids on myself at the last minute however it's something you know convenient and easy so that's what i'm gonna do and also like i said i'm gonna be walking um about four to five times a week and i really just don't want to be worried about my hair and having my hair pressed out while i'm working out or you know active is not the best so I just want to put my hair in a protective hairstyle um, for the meantime. This is how my hair is looking right now. Um, I am about to wash it while well, my sister is going to wash it for me. My head is so itchy. I can't wait until water is just running over it. Ugh, it's going to feel so good. But um, yeah, like I said, I'm doing boho knotless braids. On myself, they're going to be really big parts. It's going to be cute and it should not take me long at all. So, yeah. Come on, let's go wash our hair. I know you guys are probably a little confused because you saw me braiding my hair and uh, attempting to do the boho knotless that I did um, a few months back right 
It's obviously a few, a few hours later and I ended up taking the braids out because I didn't realize how long it actually was going to take me. And right now, I don't have the patience to do braids, okay? I really don't. I really wish I did right now, but I don't have the patience to do it. And right now, I don't know if y'all can relate, but I am on the verge of crying because I'm so frustrated with my hair right now. I literally just want to take the scissors and just cut it off. Like, that is how I just want to, like, I just want to cut it off because I'm so frustrated with my hair. I don't know what to do. I did want to do the braids, but it's just going to take too long. And yeah, I don't know. I don't feel my cutest with like jumbo braids. That's what I was going to do. So I felt like the only way for me to actually genuinely like the braids when I'm done is if the parts are smaller, which will take more time. But I'm doing it by myself once again. So I don't have the patience for that. I already spent money on the hair. What am I going to do? So tomorrow I have to figure out what I'm going to do with my hair. I'm just going to leave my hair alone right now. And tomorrow I'll figure it out. But right now I am very annoyed. Like highly annoyed. I want to cry. If you've ever been so frustrated with your hair that you wanted to cut it off or you just started like bawling because you're so frustrated and your hair isn't coming out the way that you wanted to, leave a comment down below, okay? Because I know we are not alone. But we're gonna cross our fingers, hope for the best and pray that it turns out good tomorrow when I've had a minute to just process. hello 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 it's the next day it is currently 12 30 i woke up early this morning well as y'all can see my hair is done y'all saw this yesterday mommy ended up helping me with my hair it looks really good so i'm about to do my edges right now so this morning woke up got myself together a little bit and i'm about to touch up my hair and just put like a light beat on just because once again for another day in a row it is raining where is my ease drop hold on now this is my new primer that i got from fenty where is it, y'all? Who came in here and stole my stuff? Am I tripping? I don't know where it could be. Hold on, let me find this. Oh, uh, wow. Found it. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty. Um, the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blur and Smooth Tint Stick. Okay. I'm just gonna use a little bit of this this is like a good shade for me and apparently um i got a call 
from my phone and I have a client today but originally I was off today because we were supposed to go to happy hour with Bianca today um like a happy birthday and a celebratory dinner for well um outing for her but a client called me today and apparently this is on me though I had confused her appointment so I genuinely thought that um I didn't have a client today, but turns out I do. Have to go handle business. And again, y'all, it is raining for the third day in a row. And it's just not a happy day outside. <laughs> and you know, when you go out, you kind of want to be in the mood um, to do these things. And because it's so gloomy, it's kind of like, I don't want to do anything. So I don't think we're going to go today because like I said, now I have a client and I don't want to delay our outing because we wanted to do happy hour. Um, we wanted to go to this new spot and I don't want to get there for like six o'clock and not be able to fully enjoy it. We have never like gone to a happy hour exactly at four o'clock and I feel like we need to so that we can enjoy like the true specials for the three hours, two hours. However, we always end up going late. So, I definitely wanted to um, do that. So, we might just end up doing it on Friday instead. I'm off Friday as well. So, we figured Friday might be a better day for me. She's free on Friday. So, Friday kind of works. But besides that, I had to go to my leasing office and go and speak to them about the people upstairs. Baby. I can hear everything. Homegirl kept me up until 1 in the morning. She's obviously moving in. Understand. Got it. You know, do what you got to do. However, be considerate that there is people, you know, underneath you. You can't be dragging, dropping, moving, and stomping your feet at 1 in the morning. And to me, it's really crazy because the these walls are thin like you can hear almost any and everything so i'm just confused as to why you think that it would have been okay to stomp as hard as you were or to be moving things and dragging things and like did any consideration pass your mind or no so i have been dealing with that and i am just over it because there was a few months back that um you know, I just assumed that someone lived in the apartment. But when I went to the leasing office yesterday, told me no one has lived in this apartment above you. They It has been vacant for the entire time that you have been here regarding your lease. They just moved in this weekend. So I don't know what you've been hearing. And girl, I, I quickly pulled my phone out and show her the videos that I had. I'm like, I'm not lying. I'm not making anything up. If I am truly bothered by this, I wouldn't have come to you at all because prior to our prior interactions with one another, I felt like you were very dismissive and like you didn't really care. You didn't really want to help. You were just here because you had to be. So I came when it really started to, to like bother me. And, you know, she was just saying, you know, I believe you. Thank you for showing me that video, blah, blah, blah. But I had to leave early from um, talking to her yesterday because... Sorry, I had to take that concealer off because I don't know why it dried the way that it did. Use my, my go-to. I want to try the new Hourglass concealers. Anyways, back to what I was saying. I had to leave yesterday, so I couldn't really talk to her um, as much as I wanted to. So I just went back today because I'm like, girl, we got to do something about this. But... She told me she's going to um, send out, you know, a noise complaint, whatever the case may be. And listen, here's the thing. I don't want to be that neighbor because I make noise in my apartment too. I get it, babe. I do. But I'm also very considerate of my neighbors. Like the first time that I ever had anything in this apartment, I went around and I put um, notes on my neighbor's doors because I didn't want to be a bother. Like I wanted them to know like, hey, you know, I'm doing something. If it gets too loud, send me a text and I will adjust the noise. Things like that. It's just like, was everyone not raised to be considerate? Like, is this truly a thing? 
so we we dealt with that this morning and it, it went pretty well she was very like open and receptive to me you know talking to her and things like that she said she would definitely handle it and amongst other things um so i have to send out an email to someone regarding something so we have to get you know these things squared away asap that was what i had to deal with this morning and i just figured like I'll be really transparent with y'all. Moving into an apartment was definitely an adjustment for me because I've only ever lived, I'm lying. We have lived in apartments before, but those were buildings that were um, built in 1950. You know, like those are really good constructed buildings. They were built properly they were insulated properly so you never really had no issues with noises and things like that um and these new buildings they are building them so quick they do not care to be insulated properly they don't care to use the right materials because the right materials cost a lot and you know they're trying to cut corners they're building them they look really nice yes however they're taking the the cheaper route so, you know, everything isn't going to be peaches and cream. You're going to hear your neighbors and things like that. So it's just something to think about if, if you are considering moving into an apartment. Me personally, I sleep in quiet. No TV, no light. I can't even have too much light around me because the light is going to wake me up. Um, yeah, I'm just a really light sleeper. So to have someone constantly stomping over my head, dropping things, dragging things, it's just a huge inconvenience. So I'm happy, you know, that I dealt with that today. Look. I hope y'all heard that. I really do. I really do hope y'all heard that. So we most definitely might just end up going out on Friday instead. But the thing with going out on Fridays is happy hour on Fridays are a lot. Like especially if you go to a popular spot, nine times out of ten, you ain't going to have nowhere to sit. And y'all know Philly is known for our restaurants, our dining, our foods, just like the vibes when it comes to eating. <laughs> So everyone is always outside. You look around and you're like, does anyone work anymore? Like, what are y'all doing here? I'm going back to my OD eyebrow hack. This is the Anastasia brow freeze. Just because they're growing out, so they're a little bit less, less tamed. I'm going to do, oh, y'all, and I have to talk to you guys about something, um, about a decision that I made. You know once my lease is up we'll talk about that maybe in the next vlog or closer to the time but i'm a little nervous a little excited a little nervous still very confused don't really know what to do but we'll talk about it friend we'll talk about it you know i need y'all advice on stuff so anyways i'm gonna get ready perfume scent of the day i got show y'all everything look how many minis replica sent me like look how many i smelled this one this is jazz club it smells so flirty Ugh, it smells so good mm. i don't know Oh my gosh, it's almost done. I gotta save this, but I think I might get this one. I have to smell the rest of them too, but y'all, it smells so good. Get my baby hairs. They're cute. They're flirty. It goes with like the little curls that are hanging down. I just think this is a cute everyday hairstyle. It's time to go do this client and I'm put some lip gloss on. Yeah, I think the only issue is that I do not have a jacket. So this is the fit of the day. I have on this long sleeve skims top. 
these sweatpants from Aritzia and my Rick Owens. And I'm going to wear my black leather jacket from Fashion Nova. Pretty cute, pretty chill. And not to mention, I smell really good. So I will see y'all later. I'm going to bring y'all with me just in case we do decide to go out. So, yeah. I just finished my client. It is 5.45. I've been done, though. Um, I was just chilling for a little bit. But we're not going to end up going out tonight. Well, out for happy hour because it's almost 6 o'clock. Um, yeah. It's almost 6 o'clock, and yeah, it probably won't happen today. So, honestly, and it's y'all, when I tell y'all, it's pouring. Like, it's pouring down, raining, and I'm hungry. So, I think I'm going to get myself something to eat, and then probably just go spend some time at Dre's house. Really got much to do today, but that's okay. So, it's a little bit later, as y'all can see. The TV is on. I'm vlogging on my phone because my camera is importing to my laptop. So, can't use it right now. But, guess who's here? Toodles. Toodles. Just say hey. Hey, guys. So, mommy's sleeping over. She is in the city for work. So, she's spending the night with me. And guess what she's got me doing? The toes. Her toes. Like, how did I get stuck doing this? I don't know that. How did I get stuck doing this? Because you're good at it. That's why. <laughs> it's like 11 o'clock, right? It's 11.13. 11.13. Having a spa date, but I'm not getting anything in return. Even though my toes need to be done. You can take this one out. You can what take are this those? One. I know. They look a mess. Oh my god. Take this foot out. And give me this. Wait. Guys, look for my toe. Like, seriously. Where are the foot Why you want people to see your foot on the internet and they not paying you? Show them my toe. So, I'm about to put the top coat on. I didn't know he was coming to the toilet. No. I don't know. I to acknowledge it. All right. All right. Here it is. So, let's acknowledge it. I love this movie. <laughs> it's so cute. So, this is this is all I did. No, see, that is not fair. I said again, I love you, I love you, I love you. <laughs> my dog knew it. My damn dog knew it. <laughs> I love you, my damn dog knew it. <laughs> I love his accent. Like I said this before. <laughs> Why would she hurt him like that? Because. Why she do that? Come home with me. Come home with me. Come home with me. Where am I taking my toe now? You touch my toe. It's dry. You're like such a coward fighting this It's dry. It's dry. You mess up your toe then by yourself. Anyways, y'all, back on the camera now. This is camera footage. I just finished, well, I didn't just finish, but finished mommy's toes. We was chilling, and now it's time for bed. Mommy, say goodnight. Night. <laughs> so, we are going to bed, y'all. We tired. Um, and, yeah, that is the end of this vlog. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and tune in to the next vlog. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.